Well, today we are announcing the new notice of race for the Volvo Ocean Race 2011-2012 and as well the new Volvo Open 70 uh, rule. The main points we have worked on achieving or objectives with the whole process, one has been clearly to reduce the cost for the participating teams, uh, meaning both reduce the cost and also reducing what it costs to win the race. Yeah! And secondly, we have worked very hard on keeping improving the safety of the boats. That's a continuous process we will always work on and we are safety focused. Third, it's important for us that the Volvo Ocean Race remains, as always, the ultimate monohull offshore racing class in the world. And the Volvo Open 70s should be the fastest monohulls racing around the planet. Finally, we also wanted to really put an emphasis on that you could race well with a second-hand boat. To reduce the cost for the participating teams has been the, probably the most dominant uh, question we have dealt with. And that has been a major challenge because no one has really done this in the sailing world before. There's two main avenues. One avenue is reduced the spending by just putting a number or putting a figure of how many sales or, or just stopping how much you can buy. Uh, and the other one is reducing the motivation you have to spend money. In the past, as the, the rule has been fairly open, there has been huge benefits, for example, to run a big two boat test program and building several boats, etc., which is very expensive, but it also gives you benefit. So it is worth the money. We've had to work from these two approaches, reducing the motivation and limiting how much you can spend. We are in the entertainment business. We are driving a sport event. And in situations where, where budgets are cut and the financial crises are coming, that's typically a market that's suffering. So we have felt very strongly that we have been dealing with something that's very important and very critical to the future of our event. And that responsibility uh, has been heavy on our shoulders. We looked through absolutely the whole rule, every single aspect of it. And, and the main features we have are, are left with is that we have reduced significantly uh, the numbers of sales you can build. We have uh, now only allowed any team to build one new boat. If you race any boat or sail any boat after March 2011, you have to race it. You cannot do any two boat testing at all. We have also limited how many new masts you can build to two new masts and these new, two new masts have to be identical. Uh, we also have limited the appendages, the rudders and the daggerboards. The final numbers of crew members we have decided on is exactly the same number of crew members that was on the boats for the legs in the last race. We have uh, increased the numbers of sailors uh, being 30 or under to one person more, so that's three, three people. And we have kept the same number of crew in the input races as in the legs. Some teams will find that their budget uh, is not that much lower for the next race, but they will find that they're competitive in a much better way. And I think that is very important that if you enter the Volvo Ocean Race and you spend the, the kind of money that it costs to build a boat and to, to put a team together, you need to know that you can race and, and, and compete on a, on a high level and that, that is very, very critical. Cool.